10 Reasons to be Terrified by the Mystery of Egypt The World History Number 1. It's no secret that ancient Egypt was home to some of the most powerful pharaohs and civilizations in human history. From King Tut to Cleopatra, this culture has enthralled people worldwide for thousands of years. Ancient Egypt's wonder, mystery, and power are still evident today through its incredible architecture, artwork, and artifacts. If you've ever wondered about what it was like to be alive during this time or what exactly makes such a remarkable ancient civilization, then keep watching. Here are 10 reasons why ancient Egypt is so terrifying. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon. So, let's start our countdown. Number 10. A Hidden Place for Mummies For 40 years, no one knew what was inside a small sarcophagus in the center of Egypt of Wales Halls. Investigators from the University of Swansea used a scanner to figure out what it was. It is a fetal mummy from before 600 BC. The mummy's tomb, which is called W1013 by the government, came to Wales in 1971. But specialists were not sure the sarcophagus was real. Its tiny size made them believe it was a 19th fake for years. A group of researchers from the University of Swansea has found out what the sarcophagus is all about. Researchers who looked at the images from every angle saw that the fetus was between 12 and 16 weeks old when it died. Some other black spot on the picture indicates that an amulet was put in the sarcophagus. Numerous dark circles look like pearl necklaces. The Egyptian center says it is common to leave jewelry with the mummy. In Egyptian culture, the jewels go with a dead person to the afterlife and help them get there. The University of Swansea thinks that the artifact is from 600 BC, meaning that it was made during the 26th Egyptian dynasty. The 52-centimeter long small sarcophagus is composed of cardboard, so it can't be opened without doing serious harm. The mummy has a wide throat and a yellow and blue hairpiece. Because of these details and the fact that its face is colored red, it may be a man. Shapes in the form of lozenges, which might look like a net of pearls, are often put on the body's area above the mummies. Both the front and the back of the sarcophagus had cautiously painted writing on them. The investigators, who attempted to make sense of the hieroglyphs, could not do so. Folks assumed the sarcophagus was a fake for a long time. The Daily Mail says that in 1998, the Singleton Hospital attempted to x-ray the box, but the outcomes were unclear, adding to the rumors. Pregnancies that were carefully kept this exciting find cleared up the puzzle and allowed it to compare the various times in Egypt's history. Carolyn Graves Brown of the University of Swansea said, Unlike what we do today in the West, it seems that the fetus was often cared for in ancient Egypt. For example, two coffins containing a fetus were discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun. Part of the eastern cemetery appears to have been set aside for the resting place of children, fetuses, and even placentia wrapped in cloth, she says. Number 9. Bahari's Valley of the Golden Mummies In 1996, a guardian from the Haria found a cemetery when he went to save his donkey. When the first digs were done, mummies were brought up to date. The finding would have been nearly boring if a few of the mummies didn't have a golden mask. The Valley of the Golden Mummies is in the oasis of Baharia, which is 400 kilometers southwest of Cairo. In 1999, after five years of scientific research, a squad of Egyptian archaeologists found 105 mummies wrapped in precious metal. The group discovered masks, jars made from glass and clay, coins, and a gold plaque with the four sons of the falcon god Horus carved on it. Since the first time the cemetery was dug up, more than 200 mummies have been found there. Even though the absence of manuscripts makes it hard to figure out who each mummy is, the revelation has taught us a lot about the Romanized Egyptian culture and specifically how they were buried. The way each mummy was put together shows what social class it came from, and the masks and gilding demonstrate that the extra care was taken to ensure the dead were buried properly. If the donkey hadn't fallen through the sand in 1996, it isn't easy to estimate how long these mummies might have stayed hidden. This makes us realize that there is still so much about ancient civilizations that we haven't found yet, and some might even be right under our feet. Number 8. Fruit Basket Found in an Ancient Egypt City Under the Sea Alia Shoaib of Insider wrote in August 2021 that 2,400-year-old fruit baskets have been found in Phonis Heraklion, an ancient Egyptian city now under the sea. Archaeologists discovered a large number of ancient things from the 4th century BCE. They found wicker baskets full of doem, 
fruit from an African palm tree, grape seeds, and Greek ceramics. Research teams from the European Institute of Underwater Archaeology, guided by the French marine archaeologist Franck Godido, who found the ruins of the Thonis Heraclean two decades ago, made the interesting finding. Godido informed the Guardian that the fruit hadn't been affected in over 2,000 years. He called the finding astounding. Number 7. Lost Golden City After digging for seven months, the city was discovered. In April 2021, Jacob Sarkeesian said that 300 miles south of Cairo, Egypt, a lost golden city had been found. It was among the biggest cities ever found in the region and one of the most important finds since Tutankhamun's tomb was found a hundred years ago. In a declaration, the squad said, The city that had been lost underneath the sands was discovered by an Egyptian team led by Dr. Zahi Hawass. The city is 3,000 years old. It was built during the time of Amenhotep III, and both Tutankhamun and Ai lived there. The city had several neighborhoods, 10 feet high walls that are still in good shape, and a bakery. Number 6. Golden Tongue in the Mouth of an Egyptian Mummy In El Bahansa, Egypt, archaeologists have found a mummy of ancient Egyptian person who still had a golden tongue in his mouth. Archaeologists from Egypt and the Dominican Republic found 16 graves at the Taposiris Magna Temple near Alexandria. While looking for resting places, they discovered a mummy with a golden tongue-shaped charm in its mouth. People thought the dead could talk to gods if they had the amulet. Number 5 mummified Egyptian pharaoh of a 35-year-old man. Dr. Marianne Gonneau, a scientific reporter for Insider, wrote at the end of 2021 that 3D CT scanners were used to unwrap a mummified Egyptian pharaoh. Sahar Salim, a scholar of radiology and the study researcher of research on the mummy, said that the pictures of Amenhotep I's body demonstrates extraordinary information. In 1525 BC, Amenhotep was the second pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty. He was in charge for more than 20 years. The scans could tell how old pharaoh was and he was 5 feet 6 inches tall, had a thin chin and a tiny thin nose, wavy hair, top teeth that slightly stuck out, and a pierced left ear. Number 4. Tutankhamun's Mask The shining mask of Tut is the most well-known and loved ancient Egyptian artifact in history and around the globe. It is the death mask of the 18th dynasty Egyptian pharaoh and king Tutankhamun. The mask is constructed of 11 kilograms of pure gold and has blue glass lapis lazuli and other precious gemstones inlaid into it. Howard Carter found it in 1922 and is currently at the Egyptian Museum. It is seen as a reasonable portrait of the boy king. Number 3. Narmar Palette the Palette of Narmar, which dates back to the 31st century BC and has some of the earliest engravings of hieroglyphics, is one of the oldest ancient documents on the globe. It is a tiny, deep green schist stone about 23 inches long that has been carved into the shape of a shield to make a ceremonial tablet showing how King Narmar came to the power. It is kept at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, Canada, and it shows Narmar prevailing in the battle that united Upper and Lower Egypt. Number 2. Canopy Jars During the mummification process, the ancient Egyptians used canopic jars to store abdomen, digestive tract, respiratory system, and liver from the dead body. They thought these organs would be required in the afterworld. From the time of the Egypt Empire to the Ptolemies, Egyptians used a pottery to make canopic jars. Each of them had a lid with a picture of one of Horus's four sons, the organs protectors. Number 1. The Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone is an ancient Egyptian artifact from the time of Pharaoh Ptolemy V. It shows the law that gives an individual the authority to be the ruler. It is an odd-looking stone with pieces of verses written in Greek. This helped solve the mystery of hieroglyphics for the very first time in 2,000 years in 1800 AD. Now the Rosetta Stone is in the British Museum. Thank you for watching the video and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.